Hello everyone, today's video. We will take you through a comprehensive understanding of what tolerance is, generally speaking. A product is assembled through multiple parts. And between parts, the degree of tightness after mutual assembly. In industry, it is called coordination. Before the Industrial Revolution, quality of product assembly and coordination is all determined by the craftsmanship of the craftsman. But after starting industrialization and mass manufacturing, the standardization and interchangeability of parts have become very important. Here we need to know. Perfect items actually don't exist. Rapid mass production of mechanical products to achieve exactly the same size as the design. Scarcely possible in reality due to various factors. Machine vibration and cleaning model number, mold accuracy and other reasons will produce various defects. However, we can define a reasonable allowable range. Make the size and appearance Parts within a certain deviation range can assemble products of the same quality. This range is called tolerance. Tolerances can be roughly divided into three types. Dimensional tolerances, geometric tolerances, and fit tolerances. Dimensional tolerance refers to the part or the allowable error range of product size. It is usually represented by adding or subtracting. The meaning of the video example here. It is based on the previous numbers. The error cannot exceed 0.1. Geometric tolerances can also be referred to as shape tolerances. Refers to the allowable error range of the part shape, just like these three parts, although the dimensions of the measuring grid points are the same. But due to some factors in the processing process, there are still slight differences in shape. That's why it's necessary to annotate geometric tolerances. True straightness is how straight a standard straight line is, how flat is the standard plane. True roundness is how round a circle should be. These are basically, all markings match the meaning they represent. Finally, there is the fit tolerance. This is to define the relationship between parts, cooperation status. Assuming there is an axis now, to insert into a hole for assembly fit, we can imagine three situations. It's very loose and tight just right. A loose fit is called a clearance fit, for example, a piston cylinder of an engine. A tight fit is called an interference fit. A good fit is called overfit. In situations where precise positioning is required, but disassembly is possible. But how much more delivery is needed and how tight is it? You need to fit the tolerance to set it. In actual cooperation, two parts will also have their own tolerances. It also needs to be considered. G7, G6 is a representation of fit tolerance, where seven refers to the fit tolerance of the hole. G6 is the fit tolerance of the shaft. The Ingus symbol represents the tolerance range. Generally, table lookup and comparison are required. H is a benchmark letter. The farther forward it is, the looser it becomes. The later it is, the tighter it becomes. Numbers refer to tolerance levels, which are also known as precision. The smaller the number, the smaller the tolerance range, and the more precise it becomes. For example, 100 hours G6. The meaning is based on a hole with a diameter of 100. The first level where the shaft needs to be loose. It's just a clearance fit. 50 means based on a hole with a diameter of the shaft needs to be tight. Level 7. It is an interference fit. After understanding all of the above, the following is the numerical value to know the tolerance. How to set due to limited time. If you are interested in liking and subscribing to our channel, we will continue in the next issue.